There are six um, homeless beautiful sisters. Beautiful black sisters. All becoming nurses together. This is Isn't that a, something? a triumph story, a story that just encourages you. Right. And they're black. Yes. So and we don't they get, came from a very So we don't beginning. get in the com you don't support black women. Remember we that dummy? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm so happy that they've done this together. Their proud dad tells people magazine in, in um this in this issue. Six sisters who have spent the past ten years homeless. That's a long time to be homeless. Have refused to let their ordeal stop them from pursuing their dream of becoming nurses. The nightmare that upended the childhoods of Lauren's sisters began in 2023 when their parents, David and Yannette, lost their home in the New York City borough of Queens. And the broad began hopping, oh, the, the what is it? What The group began hopping from the home of one family member and friend to the next. So that's their homeless. Aww. Yeah. Like, every time when people say homeless, some people are homeless. Because they stand with people. They have That's no still place homeless. To stay, yeah. If you don't have your own place where you're paying your own rent or mortgage yeah. or whatever, you stuck in some house, then you are considered homeless. Living and trying to. Yes. Yeah. It was challenging, Lauren. Now 24 tells people in, in um, this issue. There were a lot of very bumpy, depressing times. Two years into the family's ordeal that began in 2013, David told his daughters who had been struggling to attend school while moving every few months that he didn't he that he did in their situation to keep them from getting an education. I'm literally reading it and it's miss a lot of stuff is worded wrong. That's why I say when people do um articles and stuff, they misspell words and mm -hmm. stuff don't have uh you think how did the editor yeah, let that go? They had to get it out really quick. See, oh. they don't even look. I don't even think they have editors. They let they let you do it yourself and submit it. Ooh. Before long, the six oldest Lauren sisters, who were then in their late elementary and middle school, were enrolled in a homeschool program Ooh. with dreams of one day earning their GED. Homeschool. He didn't want what we were going through to hold them back. So he made sure they were learning. That was smart. Keep them learning. That's one of my friends did that with her kids. Homeschool. She homeschooled them. Nothing is seen because they can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Nothing, it seems, could hold the tight-knit clan back. Not only did the six oldest Lauren sisters all earn their GEDs, they also attended Nassau Community College on Long Island. Graduated two years later, they went to enroll in sunny old Westbury, where they earned their bachelor's degrees in public health in May. So they all went together. They all went together. It's been quite an adventure, says Danielle, and they all studied together. They did everything. Um, but what really pulled us through is our faith in God and each other. They must be near each other at age wise. Are any of them twins? It says the siblings 19 to 25 admit that they are just getting started. So that's a good six, seven. So years. she had them every year. Seven she had a baby years. every year. But I think being homeschooled together. Yes. Help them probably educational wise in the level they were on. Yeah. To con go to college together. Yeah, continue on. Okay. It's a dream come true for this group of young women whose childhoods were filled with so much turmoil and uncertainty. I'm so happy that they've done this together, says their proud dad, David. I'll always tell them life's not fair, and when it throws you a curveball, you got to adjust to it and keep going, which is going to be part of what we talk about when we say racism. You don't, you don't live in it, but you also know that it exists. Mm -hmm. But you don't live in it. And when life throws it. stuff at you, you if you have a faith in God, whatever door God says is open for you, it's going to be open. It don't matter what man say. Whatever man say is man. But it's what God says. And so they probably had that belief that God, you going to whatever life throws at us, it's whether it's things. whatever it is. I can do Christ. all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. So, but it doesn't say that it doesn't exist. And knowledge. It just of it. say you don't you don't live and die in it. And That's not, all. And not and historically, knowledge of history. Exactly. So you don't repeat it. You and don't you repeat do better it. better than what you've heard they did exactly. in the past. Exactly. Exactly. So that's nice. All six sisters. Now, some people would say, why does she have a baby every year if she was homeless? Well, you said in China now. 
You could only have one child. You have one child. Do we want? That's why people are so concerned about our government getting into women's wombs and bodies. Yep. China is in people's wombs and said you can only have one child. Now, what country dictates how many kids you can have? There's other ones. Like China that. is yeah. doing that right now. If you want to, if you want somebody to be over, you and like it has to be a boy, right? I don't know. If, if you, I, mean, I know they're really concerned to having boys versus right. girls. But I don't know. But yeah, go ahead. But um, so that's an example of being poor I'm and having to look at them and see if any of them twins have a lot of kids because that would be easier to have when you have two and then you have three, one, two, three, and then boom, twins. You can't tell. They, they all look. They all alike. look. They could be fraternal twins. That's true too. These two look like they could be twins, but I'm not sure. That's true. But go ahead. That's good. But yeah, so that's an example of having kids mm -hmm. and making sure that they are taken care of. Mm -hmm. To me, I don't care how many kids you have as long as you take care of them. Yeah. I take yeah. care of my kids. And I forgot what, what mean was that? Some black lady. I take care of my kids. Somebody was talking about she'll take care of her kids. people say that. I take care of my kids. <laughs> I don't know who did that one. <laughs> okay. All right. So that was a good story. Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, that's a feel-good story. 